Hi folks, today I'm going to be closing and consolidating positions and I'm going to talk a little bit as to why I'm doing this. And welcome to Easy Finances. I want to go over the markets for last week, just take a look at what we had going on there exactly. It looks like the markets are up quite a bit. You talk about the Dow Jones Industrial, it's only down 6 0.30% uh, for the year. That's phenomenal considering the situation. And I think a lot of it has to do with the money that's flowing around right now. I'm not sure if that money's going to stay if once people prolonged jobless situation is uh, realized, then uh, I think that the money situation is probably going to dry up pretty good. Then we'll have to see. But, but it's hard to say. It's hard to bet against the Fed. The Fed is printing a ton of money. You know, going against that flood, it's kind of difficult we'll see but if you look at the nasdaq it's up 15.21 percent for the year and the s p 500 is up 1.68 percent now our account the money weighted average return that it says is 37.52 percent is what we're up and as you can see that the dividend stocks growth stocks and high dividend stocks the, the growth stocks have done the best and that that is basically what was in the nasdaq as well so and those those growth stocks i did have uh, some stocks that i'm getting rid of and that's also what we're talking about today i will say that none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor and if you need financial advice find a financial advisor this is my personal uh interaction with the stock market and my investing and hopefully you get some entertainment value out of it uh the stocks that i i wanted to get rid of were, were ccl and uh win resorts because I, I really just don't know what the future is going to look like for them now. I don't know how people are, are going to uh, react to those things anymore. So I was up a little bit on those two. But uh, I also sold two other uh, stocks that I wasn't sure about. And I wasn't convinced to, to sell them until I listened to Warren Buffett. But those are the airline stocks that I had bought in earlier. I bought Delta Airlines and Southwest Airlines. I didn't make a profit on either one of them. I think I lost $30 total on them. Two that I lost 30 bucks on and then two that I had gained. And you, uh, I'll go ahead and put those up here for you to show you the gains on those. Overall, to me, that's a wash. That's fine. I want to get my stock portfolio in a consolidated position ready to weather any further storms. So if the prolonged jobless situation continues and money dries up, and I want I want to have good solid companies that people are still going to use. And so Disney was another one I got rid of. Uh, they cut their dividend. I, I kind of want to focus on having dividend stocks right now and get more in there. There are a few speculative stocks that I have. Honestly, if, you, if we look into the growth portfolio here, I have Tesla. I have uh, Uber. I would say both those are, are speculative. Now, speculative just means that uh, there's no way to be certain on which way they're going or how. I mean, I, you could say that with any company, can't you? But the door paperwork that goes that they file doesn't show that they're making money, and so you have to have some kind of belief in those products to buy into that. And that's not something I normally do. But there's a couple things I want to be on the cutting edge with, obviously, a little bit, and it's helped my account so far. As you can see with these types of numbers, I mean, 740.55% uh, with Tesla. Uh, I could only wish that I had more in there, right? That's money weighted average, obviously. Yeah, if we look into our holdings for this, we can take a look at as far as consolidation is going. I, I put Apple, JP Morgan, and Johnson Johnson as my top stocks. Those are things that I want to have. And we'll look into the portfolio here in, in just a minute. and. And see, but uh, those are things that I, I think are going to stick around. JP Morgan, they may cut their dividend if they have to. They're not going to go away. And, and this isn't a, a financial crisis that's brought on about by bad management or, you know, not like the 2008 situation with the banks and mortgages and all that. It's not that. So JP Morgan Chase is, is good. And uh, Johnson & Johnson, Apple. Those are my three big ones, as you can see now. I've got the most money in those. And Raytheon Technologies, I'm still showing a big loss on those. Um, 
I never got to the bottom of that. It When that stock split off and spun off Carrier and Otis, it shouldn't be that big of a loss. I don't know why it is. And I also bought some more after it went down a little bit. Um, Amazon, or not, not a dividend stock. I am in, in some non-dividend stocks as well. Speculation on Foot Locker. I, I probably will want to get out of that, but man, that's it's got a heck of a yield right now and if we go back to the portfolio i'll take a look at that so yeah i've sold out of disney delta airlines let's let's just take a look at the activity i made a sell there what did i sell i sold irobot yes i was i don't have any conviction on that people are buying the little vacuums that go around and, and that stuff but uh so they get the irobot stuff but i don't know how much longer they're gonna spend on luxury items like that maybe they will, and I'll, I'll be surprised, but I don't have conviction in it, so I sold it. That's why. But I made some money off of that as well. Uh, let's see. The sales I had here were the Carnival Corporation and Win. Those are the ones I showed you already. And then I had four sales here. So Leggett and Platt, uh, they discussed... They had some problem with, with possibly cutting their dividend, and they may not be able to sustain the dividend. And for that reason, I went ahead and cut them. I didn't have, I wasn't totally in love with them anyway. I like them as a company. They make springs, box springs, um, springs for cars, automobiles, industrial springs, things like that. And, you know, they generally have done well over the past, you know, what, 50 years or so. Uh, I had them. They had a good uh, yield, and I had them. But now in, in all of this and what's going forward, I don't know if people are going to be buying all, all those industrial items and beds and things like that I mean if people can hold off a little bit they might just do that so uh, you know without the conviction I go ahead and, and sell that stock uh, normally I would buy stocks and hold them forever but if I think they're gonna cut honestly I'm, I'm just gonna sell them from now on if if I don't feel the love for them and I'll just consolidate them I've, I've got plenty of stocks anyway so anyway continuing on with what I sold here Delta Airlines I told you about uh, Southwest Airlines I told you about I was thinking, okay, this industry is going to uh, V-shape back up and, and we're going to have, you know, a big return to travel, air travel and all that stuff. It's not looking like that's going to be the case, honestly. It's, it's just looking like uh, people are going to stay away from travel and, and crammed up places for a while. And that's, I understand, of course. Or even if they don't, uh, the airlines are going to have to make some kind of you know, consideration for spacing people out. And uh, they're going to be dealing with trying to... Uh, sort that all out for quite a while and I think that's they're gonna lose money on that for the foreseeable future honestly I don't know when this is gonna end maybe if there's a vaccine or something you know if we could time it buy them back again that'd be great but uh, right now I'm, I just don't have the conviction with them Disney I said cut their their dividend went ahead and got rid of them all right so so that's all the sales you see I've got a bunch of buys I'm buying all the time I'm getting dividends all the time here Dividends is what what I'm chasing, especially in these this big downturn. I want to have companies that will continue dividends paying into this. So if these stocks do turn down, I have some more income coming in that can buy more stocks, which that's absolutely what I want to do if these stocks go lower. So, for example, we talked about some of the buys, and a lot of these came from uh, selling iRobot on this one, Microsoft, Nike, Google. Tesla, Pepsi, Facebook, Amazon. I feel strong about every one of those stocks and I'm happy to put more money into them. N with the exception of maybe Nike. I mean, tough times, Foot Locker and Nike might uh, not do so well. We'll see, we'll see. But uh, they have great high dividend yield. Well, Nike doesn't have a, a high dividend yield, but I, I think my Nike is gonna hold up better than other shoe places anyway, so, so we'll see. Uh, we had seven buys there. We're at 17 here. Obviously, some of these are, are small ball buys that that came from selling these. That's fine. So you can take a look through here, buying all that stuff. And essentially, what I'm doing is boiling everything down. How many how many holdings do we have now? We have 61. And after we sell the the stocks that I'm selling on Monday here, I'm doing this early in the morning. So if we if we look at the upcoming trades here. So I got a dollar seven. That was from dividends uh, going into Facebook. Just putting that in there because I think Facebook's always a winner, especially if people have to stay home. That's just they're going to be on Facebook. Advertising is going to be big, and even coming out of the recession that we're almost certainly in, 
Uh, I think people are going to be doing Facebook ads quite a bit. And Google ads as well. So you can look at the buys that I had here, or the sells that I'm going to do. IBM, American States Water Company, and United Health Group. United Health Group, I just wasn't feeling them. I said, you know what, I've got enough stocks. I want to go ahead and, uh, and cut a few out. United Health, eh, just didn't do anything for me. It's, it pays a yo low dividend yield. Said, uh, let's go ahead and get out of that. American States Water, I got a few other uh, utilities. I've got Duke, I've got Southern, I've got uh, Hawaiian Electric. I've got, I've, I've got plenty of them. So cut those down, put them into companies that I know are gonna do okay through this. I bought some, or I will be buying some McDonald's, Pepsi, Johnson and Johnson, and you can see down the list here. It's gonna leave me some more money because seven of them are excluded. And what the excluded means is that uh, it's below a dollar, so they don't include it in this trade. I hope they that M1 Finance actually does something to uh, get that sorted out. To where you know, wh why not take all of these and buy one one of them? Then you know, just what is that? You got one two three four dollars or something for for something i'm not adding it up actually i'm just looking so four dollars in some sense or five bucks um why not put that in one stock you know and just say okay well but i don't know if there's any way they, they can do that but they don't they don't buy anything under a dollar so those get excluded when it calculates that out because it's trying what it's trying to do is is fit your what what you said here so we you said you want i want 60 20 20 and within each one of those I have specifics as well, so I want 10%, 10%, 10%, 2, 5, you know, so on and so forth. So it tries to fit all those, and it tries to cram them all in. Sometimes it, it just means a matter of cents need to go in there to uh, even it out to those percentages. So if it's not over a dollar, they go ahead and exclude that. And that was to cut their costs. I used to go ahead and buy those, but uh, the, they've recently made that change to where they'll only uh, put in the buy orders if it's a dollar or more. That's fine. I mean, I don't need it. When it clears out, when this one clears out on Tuesday, I'll go ahead and go back in and buy, make a buy for one with the extra four or five bucks, and there might be some dividends or something in there. That's fine. But uh, it, in the end, I'm consolidating. We're still at a loss in this uh, portfolio here, this dividend growth stocks. I don't know how I feel about that because some of these Duke Energy, things like that, I don't know why they went down as much as they did. Bank of America, the banks I can kind of see, Bank of Montreal. I can see why they would go down as much as they did. The utilities, I don't know why they went down as much as they did. I guess it's good we can buy into them, but people are, are using more, maybe because the corporations and companies aren't going to be using as much electricity, and those are the big big utility users. I don't know. So Raytheon, it's showing a ridiculous amount that I've lost. I haven't uh, showed you in holdings at 16%. Uh, I really need to write to them and try to figure that out. So, But I have not done that yet. So in the end, I'm consolidating, getting ready for what I think is going to be a bigger downturn later. There's no way to tell. I mean, obviously, you got with the Fed printing money, <laughs> that money's got to go somewhere. So people are putting it in assets because uh, when there is a lot of money, inflation t tends to happen. So your money is worth less. When you go to buy something, it's more expensive. But assets always go up in price. So if you bought that gallon of milk and you held on to that gallon of milk, you know, and, and inflation goes up, a few days later it's worth more than it was when you bought it or a few years or whatever obviously you wouldn't do that with milk but same thing is it applies to stocks so <laughs> we have stocks that are not milk that you could buy and hold on to and they're gonna inflate in value because uh, they are an asset and as more and more money gets put out there inflation ensues and assets grow in price I think that's what's causing the stock market to be propped up as much as it is right now is the Fed printing money. That's that's the only explanation I can think of. If somebody else has a better explanation, I'd like to hear it, honestly. Go ahead and write it below. It is quite interesting. Because, honestly, I would expect the, I'd expect the market to be doing horribly right now with the economic data that we're getting. The 30 million job losses, the you know, all the crazy stuff that's going that's going on right now. So, all right, But that's not the case. So, here we are. You got the portfolio we're up for now I told you why I'm selling the stocks that I'm selling I'm trying to get down in the holdings I'd, eventually I'd like to get down to 50 holdings but 
Looks like we'll be at 58 after we get these three cells on, on, on today. Once I'm down to 50 holdings, I'll, I'll hold them there. And I like that. But in the future, I'll be talking a little bit more about each stock individually. So I want to talk about the ex-dividend dates that are coming up on, on, on stocks. So that'll be a thing. Each one of my stocks that are going to have an ex-dividend date within the next week or so, I, I want to be putting that out the week before so that people have a chance to... Uh, to buy into that stock if they're interested and in that it wouldn't be a recommendation for me it would just be showing you what the ex dividend date on that is so that you could make the decision for yourself so that's what I'll be doing in the future for now thank you for watching and please like and share uh, leave a comment let me know how I can improve this I'd love to hear what 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 you think and uh, we'll see you next time thanks